There comes a point in every man's life where they're faced with the cold hard facts. And these facts being that feet aren't so bad. Uh, but not that weird ass ash feet that Farpa looks at. By feet, I mean performable punch of sorcerer's feet, which you can get now on the exclusive playmat that I'm gonna destroy Farpa with, in theory. Let's go. Big shout out to Frankie. This is going to be our new release of the Perform a Pal playmat. Make sure to get yours right now. All of the beautiful Perform Pals are on here. Go check it out right now before we get into this video because this video is not going to be very long. It's going to be an absolute destruction, obliteration, abomination. All right, BA is pretty base. I'm not going to lie. I can't even disrespect BA like that. But nonetheless, Farp was playing and uh, he is my friend, but you know, he might not be the most based person in the universe. Anyways, let's go! Let's get this show on the road. Trip versus Farfa. I start off, I break. Look at this. I'm like, oh, I break, man. I'm so sad. I break, I break, I sad. Uh, people, poppy, hoppy, leave. I don't even know the Twitch phrases, bro. Uh, why people poppy or something? I don't even know the names, bro. But nonetheless, I just bluff that I'm, I break, but I'm playing Pendulum, bro. What the heck? Of course, I'm not going to break. Especially in this new version with Prosperity, which I highly recommend you guys play. And then, as long as you guys all purchase a Trip Gaming Playmat, which, let me count how much there is. Probably all sold out by the time you're watching this video. So, just go get yours right now on TripGaming.com. That ass is like 20. So, typically, they sell out, like, really fast. Really fast. We did a release for these, a pre-release before. There's only 20 left. So, get it ASAP before they're gone. But anyways, uh, and then if you save yourself some money, spend an extra $400 on three Prosperities because... Uh, we all have jobs, I assume, except for myself, because I'm a professional duelist. I don't really have a job, but that's all good. Because, um, yeah, that's all good, because we have a Chronograph Sorcerer. So here we're going to Normal Summon Joker, and I'm going to add Harmonizing. At this point, I'm not playing around Nibiru, because I know what he's playing. He's playing Burning Abyss Trap. He's been playing this deck forever, so I know he's not playing Hand Traps, unless he decides randomly, hey, instead of my traps, you're going to randomly throw in some Hand Traps. I didn't think that was the case. So you went for this route. Chronograph is cool with White Wing. If you're playing White Wing, it would only be because of Chronograph, in my opinion, because the two can make Brone to Floor in this cool method, as you guys saw. And then here we're going to go. I already have Scythe, Hard Drawn. So we're going to go into Selene here to set up an Appaloosa and Needle Fiber combo. I'm going to save the effect on the grave. This version does not run DPE. In my updated version, I am running DPE with Prosperity, with pure, pure, pure magicians that are absolutely unreal. And I'll be showcasing my updated list on that very shortly. But this list is absolutely insane as it is. So you're going to add, uh, add at the end with Celestia. We have an amazing follow-up. We have great scales. We have Brone to put to negate. We have Appaloosa to negate just in case he finds a way to stop Scythe. And obviously, we have Scythe. Uh, with our TG Wonder Magician. He goes set right away. I was on his first set. I was prepared to hop of Alka Fibrax, pop my site, but this man just do, 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 set right away. I'm like, oh, man, maybe this guy just drew five sets or five traps. He pops my apple. I'm like, that's fine. Uh, I'm like, TG Wonder, let's pop one of them. I'm going to pop all of them, anyways. Bro on the floor, pop another. Uh, then he breakthroughs one. I didn't know what was going on in there. But uh, yeah, I was going to, then I'm just very simply Old Dragon Effect. Uh, add Time Gazer, Normal Summon, make Savage Dragon, and then all his stuff's interrupted, and we just pen 5 and pen best deck, bro, what could I say? So here we're going to go into Game 2. So Game 2, I lose the, uh, he's going first, but I have Lightning Storm, so we're going to Lightning Storm away his Solemn Strikes, which is really the only card we're scared of, is Strike, Solemn, thank God, Anti-Spell, oh my, ha! <laughs> That's what you get, Farfa, for trying to duel against your father right here. I'm the Pen God, bro, you don't set a chance against me! That's what you get for even attempting to play anti-spell in your deck. I kind of played anti-spell before in Elish, so I'm kind of biased. But anyways, uh, but by, by bias, I mean base. And by base, I mean look at our pen, how we're going to clap him. And by clap him, I mean spread those cheeks, bro. And by that, I mean you're about to lose 2-0 to the pen god. And by that, I mean why are you playing BA in 2015? Play a new deck for once, bro. What the heck kind of... Who plays the same deck for the last 19 years? Uh, so he's going to activate Mask, he's going to go BA, he's going to summon Beatrice, I'm like, sure, Lightning Storm, get rid of your back row. I have no fear for Masquerina, because that means he has to get rid of his Beatrice. So here I'm going to Pross, I'm like, give me a pen call or something, give me something nice, I'm like, a nice pen call, I got three of you, but I'll just settle for one of you. And then in this scenario, obviously I need to keep my pen graph alive, because uh, it'll pop two, I go pen graph. Discard, uh, pen call, discard, lose lines. I don't need that now. Specifically, specifically, spe Ow, my funny bone! That was a bad, you know when like, you randomly just hit your funny bone or something? And it's like, I'm an absolute beast, so it's all good. I don't really feel things like that. So, um, 
yeah, in scenarios like this, even under pen call, search the wisdom eye with pen call, okay? Because what are you going to do? Get a double iris that's going to be absolutely useless? It's under pen call. It's not going to get destroyed, right? Who cares about damage or anything? You want this because next turn, you could use wisdom eye's effect to get purple poison if you need it. And it gives you wisdom eye in conjunction for old dragon to add back. So it's a very, like, big trick right here. Very important. It'll literally win you games alone. Where if, you're, if you know for a fact you're just getting a random pen, uh, high scale with pen call, like a random double iris, or it's less of a magician effect, just get Wisdom Eye. It'll give you better follow-up on your following turn when you can use it. So here, we're going to get into Oaf Dragon. Uh, I think he's uh, going far. Here, I make a slight error. Maybe I should have special level 4. I did not expect him to far from my Harmo right off the bat. So that really cocked me, actually. Because if I got a level 4, I could have done some plays here. But I do get cocked. So I just activate Celestial Effect right away. Enter Battle Attack. He opts a Unicorn that away. Uh, get rid of my Celestial, my guy. So End Phase. I just set End Phase. Harmo comes back and I get uh, Joker. Search from Celestial. And now he has just a bunch of BAs, which is good to me. I just don't want him to have like cards like Solemn Strike. He goes Tour Guide. Now in this scenario, I don't know what the heck I'm thinking. I'm like right away in the Battle Phase. I'm in Main Phase, I do this. I don't know why I didn't do it in Battle. No, I did do it in Battle Phase. Yeah, yeah, I did that in Battle Phase. So in Battle Phase... Uh, so Fortune Tune says that uh, it cannot be destroyed. If this card would be destroyed by a card effect, you need to draw this card instead, blah, blah, blah. So uh, I cannot, Unicorn cannot be destroyed by a, by battle or effects. It cannot be destroyed by effects because of Mascarena. So I use Pengraph's second effect to send the Fortune Tune. Then that special Sir that's brought out by Libich. And then uh, he's going to use Seer to attack that, Unicorn to attack that. And I'm like, this is fine. This is fine. You can't bring out access. Uh, you can't bring out Zeus, and that's all I'm scared of at this, at this point. So Zeus ain't, ain't coming out. So we're good. We're fine. Uh, so he's gonna go into Access Code Talker, and Access Code Talker is gonna be put my Pen Graph, but not my Scales, simply because of Pen Call. Pen Call is insane. And now at this point, Farfa realizes that I have Joker follow up. I'm harmonizing that they're gonna add back with Oath. The Wisdom Eye. Remember, I specifically said get Wisdom Eye instead of Oath is, is Double Iris. Well, when Wisdom goes to high skill, it's gonna be summoned as an Access Code Zone if I really wanted it to. You got some plays with Star Pendulum Graph and Double Iris with the Wisdom Eye. We're having six monsters on board, and there's nothing he can do at this point. He's just like, that's enough. I concede. Pen mess deck. Then he said a little something after about, uh, bro, like I wish that I could play Pendulums, but I suck at Yu-Gi-Oh. Then I was like, bro, Farfa, it's all good. Maybe I'll teach you one day. That, uh, and by one day, I mean never. So we're going to go one more duel here. So clearly, that didn't really work out so well for Farfa. When I'm playing the best deck in the planet, uh, when anyone is playing the best deck in the planet with a brain as big as mine, it's very difficult to lose. So now we're going to go on, and I'm going to play a deck more close to his level. I'm going to play a deck closer to his skill level and brain level and that is uh alistair let us proceed so the best way to play alistair is very simple you want to utilize the fact that it's a one card combo deck with other one card combo decks in dpe so we are playing dpe in here dpe is literally the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh history so how is farfa farfa can't even deal with the little tuning magician how is he going to deal with the destroyer pendulum enforcer and as far as I'm concerned, it's a pendulum card. Just how Electrum is a link, uh, pendulum card itself. It's just a blue pendulum. This is a purple pendulum. It is the best pendulum card. And despite the fact I'm not playing pendulum, at least you have a pendulum card in this deck, and that is DPE. A far from here decides to set five. I'm like, that's fine. We're going to go DPE here. We're going to roll four. We're going to get rid of this card. Breakthrough, not so good to hit, but that's fine. He hits us on Torrential. It's good that he Torrentials us here. The reason being is that uh, you cannot use Torrential with Meltdown on the field. So you cannot wait for me to fusion first. Uh, so here we're going to see his sets. His sets are Phoenix Wind Blast, Ice Prison, Ice Prison. Um, go, he goes Torrential. I'm like, that's fine. Ch chain DP, of, oh, activate DP effect. Activate Invocation. He's going to Ice Prison away my Alistair. I have no Alistair in hand, no Alistair in Graveyard. Things are looking so hot. Instantly, I'm like, you know what? Maybe Farfa is not a bad duelist. Maybe Farfa is the best duelist in the world. So maybe uh, I should have played a better deck. But anyways, he's going to go Ice Prison here to get my DP when I'm about to summon it. I'm like, that's not cool, bro. But it's all good. It's all good because we're going to draw Alistair right now. We're going to draw Alistair right now and it's fine. We're going to Ash his, uh, his way to Skarm. He's going to set Strike. We get Ecclesia. He strikes. I'm like, that's fine. Draw two. Let's draw two. So we draw two here. Oh, we have to waste our normal summon on Ecclesia. What could you do, man? What could you do? This is fine. It's not going to have game because of Droplets. So we're still in the game. And that's when I realized... You guys see where this is going? See here? Bring a graph. This man plays bar bar. Anyone with the brain would realize that bar bar is a joke. It was a good joke at the time, 
Foff was a good duelist, man. And I say that very jokingly. I didn't get no email. I didn't get no explanation. I just got barbarred for fucking 900, and I lost the duel because of a barbar. First cowboy loses me a whole banning for two years, and now barbar loses me a duel against Farfa. What's worse, getting banned or losing to Farfa? All the turntables. That was a great match, Farfa. I consider this 1-1. One, one. I beat you with my real deck, and you beat me when I played a deck on your level of Invoked, Monkey, etc. Anyways, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Big shout out to Farfa for these duels. Farfa's my boy. We have a lot of banter going on, but that's my fucking homie right there. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'm prepared to fight a whole army for Farfa. Farfa's my dog. When I go to Ireland or Sweden or Norway or wherever he lives, I'll be prepared, man. I'll be there. I'll be. I'll be his bodyguard there, just in case the Norway army wants to fight him. I got him. I got him. So Farfa's my boy. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to get your beautiful Pepe play mats in the description down below. They're only gonna be available for two days. They're gonna be available for this video and the next video. That's it. This video. Maybe the next three days because and if they sell out before that then my bad because we only have 20 and uh so get yours asap guys hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next video peace also smash the subscribe button of my channel and farfus thank you love you bye